Hey coin collectors! Welcome back to Coin Oz. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of numismatics, focusing on a rare gem, the 1970 D. Washington Quarters with double die obverse. These coins, featuring FS101 and FS102 varieties, are like hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. You might be wondering, what's all the fuss about? Well, these coins aren't your ordinary pocket change. They carry a legacy of craftsmanship and rarity that make them highly sought after by collectors worldwide. A double die obverse coin is produced when the coin die is not properly manufactured. This leads to the appearance of two images on a single coin die, meaning there's a duplicate of letters, numbers, or words. The more obvious and distinct the error is, the more the coin is usually worth. Plenty of Lincoln coins have been minted with the double die obverse error, although it's possible to find other pieces with the same issue too. Take a closer look here. See those doubled images? That's the magic we're talking about. And in the case of the 1970 D. Washington Quarters, we have not one, but two fascinating varieties, FS101 and FS102. According to Variety Vista FS101 specimens show strong spread on date, in motto in God we trust an erty of liberty. Certified population are mostly comprised of circulated examples. This 1970 D. Washington quarter was graded as about uncirculated 53 by PCGS. It was sold for $953 at Great Collections Auction. Meanwhile, the FS102 variety showcases very strong doubling on On Liberty, in God we trust and date with strongest On Liberty, adding another layer of allure to these already prized possessions. This is extremely rare double die obverse quarter showcased at Heritage Auctions. Cherry Pickers calls this variety extremely rare, with only two reported to date. The obverse legends are unusually thick, especially Liberty, due to obverse die doubling. Satiny and well struck with a mark free appearance and moderate autumn gold and powder blue toning. The present example is the discovery coin for the variety, and is the coin photographed on page 213 of Cherry Pickers 4th edition volume 2. This MS-65 specimen was sold for $2,875. But what about ordinary 1970 D quarters without doubling? Can they be valuable as well? U.S. Mint struck over 417 million 1970 quarters dollars in Denver and circulated specimen are in abundance. They are pretty affordable and common in lower mint conditions. But MS-68 gems are rare, as PCGS reported only 9 specimens in that lofty grade, as of February 2024 auction record was set in 2023 on eBay. This MS-69 superb gem with attractive toning was sold for $15,000. So, fellow collectors, it's time to put our detective hats on. Grab your 1970D quarter and your trusty magnifying glass, and let's embark on a journey of discovery. Who knows? You might just uncover a hidden gem within your own collection. Thanks for joining us today on CoinOz. Remember, the world of numismatics is full of surprises, waiting to be explored. Until next time, happy hunting, and may your collections shine brighter with each new discovery. God's willing, see you in the next episode.